Hi guys, I'm Smitha and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about exactly what you should be doing in 2024 in order to learn machine learning as effectively as possible. There's a lot of videos out there like this and I've made a similar video back in 2022. However, since then, a lot of things have changed within the AI and ML space. To illustrate this further, every year Stanford actually releases a state of AI report. And let's take a look at their 2024 state of AI report. One of the biggest things that they mention is that generative AI investment actually skyrocketed between 2022 and 2024. It 8x'd essentially. So it nearly octupled to reach $25.2 billion in 2024. And major players in the generative AI space include OpenAI, Anthropic, Hugging Face, and more. And what this means is there is a tremendous focus on not just these larger startups which have popped up, but also existing organizations like Meta, Google, Amazon, Microsoft. And they have been focusing on generative AI as well. So it's extremely important that if you are learning machine learning in 2024, you understand the landscape of where AI and ML is and where it's headed to. There are a lot of careers and job opportunities now, and this will continue on through 2024 and even within the next year. So right now is the best time to effectively learn machine learning. Machine learning is not the easiest thing to learn, but it's definitely something that you can self-learn and there are so many resources out there to do that. But it's very common for people to get overwhelmed, especially new students, when they take up courses which are 40 to 80 hours long. In fact, it's estimated that in machine learning, only 30% of Udemy courses are completed simply because of the length and complexity which causes people to drop off. So one of the first steps that I would recommend when you're starting to learn machine learning is take a foundational machine learning course which will explain the basics to you in the most effective way possible. Personally, I can recommend School of Machine Learning's Introduction to Machine Learning course in Python because it just does exactly that. It's really effective at communicating these complex topics to beginners, and you don't need any particular programming language to get started because it explains everything as effectively as possible. So I'll be leaving a link to that in the description box below. Feel free to check that out to get started. The second thing that you should be doing after taking that foundational course is building up on your key ML concepts even further. And these key ML concepts are what is really important in the industry right now. So the first thing is actually understanding transformer architecture, because this is essential for working with multimodal uh, models, with working with natural language processing and language models. And it's also really important to understand modern architecture like BERT and GPT. Highly recommend this resource by Jay Alamar, who has put together an illustrated resource which explains how the transform architecture works. The second resource is gradient ascent and optimization. Check out this Google developer resource, which is absolutely free for that. And next is mathematics for ML. Mathematics for ML is not something that you have to complete and master right at the beginning. This is something which is also quite complex and it takes a long time to perfect it. But that doesn't mean that you have to be perfect in order to get started with machine learning or even to get started applying for jobs. So this is something that you can be learning along your career. I would highly suggest this GitHub repository which contains a lot of resources for math in ML. Similarly to math and the same learning process as math is deep learning. So I would highly recommend this book, which is also available for free. It is a book on deep learning and explains everything from multi-layer perceptrons to what exactly are they. So check this out. And lastly, it's model evaluation metrics. So here is a resource from, again, Google developers, which is absolutely free but it allows you to understand what exactly are metrics like accuracy, precision, and recall. So these are also super important to know, and it's really important that you get these concepts down before you move to step three. 
For step three is the most practical aspect of this entire thing, which is getting hands-on experience. Now there's multiple ways you can get hands-on experience. You can collaborate with other learners and build a project together. You can build a project by yourself or apprenticeship experiences. One of the easiest way, of course, is building your own project. And I would highly suggest this GitHub link, which contains all of the famous data sets within AI and ML that includes uh, public data sets available from the government and many, many more. So this is an excellent starting point. It gives you access to all these data sets. You can pick one and build an ML project around it. You can do linear regression. You can do uh, recommendation systems, etc. But these projects are really key at determining and showcasing what you're able to build. And also it lets you experiment with what type of models to apply to different use cases. And it also helps to build your knowledge and helps you showcase something in technical interviews. Step number four is building advanced machine learning skills. So this includes PyTorch. Back in 2022, TensorFlow and PyTorch were neck and neck, and there were so many people picking TensorFlow versus PyTorch. But in 2024, there is clearly a winner. So I would highly recommend learning PyTorch. Of course, TensorFlow is still around, but PyTorch is just used more widely in the industry, especially when it comes to deep learning. So check out uh, Deep Learning with PyTorch, which is an official tutorial, which is created by PyTorch and you can actually master PyTorch for building and deploying deep learning models. Lastly, in building advanced machine learning skills that I can personally recommend is understanding natural language processing. This is such a big aspect of the direction in which AI and ML is moving to, so it's very important that you do. Here's a link to a GitHub repo which contains a lot of amazing resources to learn about natural language processing and understand how it works. So with this, you can work with text data using advanced models and techniques. In step number five, we come to almost the final stage of building a machine learning model, but also the final stage before you start to confidently apply for a lot of ML roles. And that is preparing and understanding how you can build end-to-end -end machine learning pipelines. So besides choosing a model, choosing a data set, evaluating that, you also need to understand how you can deploy machine learning models. A lot of large tech companies and startups deploy their machine learning models on the cloud by using a large cloud provider like Microsoft Azure, AWS, or Google Cloud. So it's super important that you're aware of how you can do that at a basic level. So what you can do is check out this course right here. It's on GitHub. It's free. It's by Goku Mohandas and it is an ML Ops course. So these ML Ops courses are not that easy to find, but this one is a really good resource. Lastly, it's really important that you focus on building specific ML skills, especially with a focus in which the industry is moving to. Now, that's not to say that you can't focus on other fields within ML. No one can possibly say what the direction in which AI and ML can progress to, but you can oftentimes tell by seeing where the investments are flowing to. And as of now, a lot of investment is flowing to generative AI. So that, as a result, means you'll see a lot of job opportunities come up in that space. So that's why I've put together this entire machine learning roadmap, which is extremely focused on where the industry is going towards. This will not only prepare you to excel in your role, but also help you really stand out when you're being interviewed or applying for jobs in general. If you're ready to start, click on the link in the description box below to the foundational course on Introduction to Machine Learning with Python, and as well as the full roadmap with all the links that I've mentioned in this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.